Hello dear friends welcome back we are discussing about the muscular system of the human body in my previous lectures we introduced the muscle we have recorded about 9 lectures already on the anatomy of the muscle so uh, previous lecture was about the differences between smooth muscles cardiac muscles and skeletal muscles we have we had discussed here and i hope you have learned something from that lecture and previous then that lecture we discuss about the classification of muscles right now i had told you that i will discuss about each muscle of the human body right the anatomy of each muscle of the human body so right now we are starting with the muscles of upper limb the anatomy of the muscles of upper limb so in this section we will discuss each muscle right its actions its blood supply its innervation and everything we will discuss each and every muscle of the upper limb then we will discuss each and every muscle of the lower limb and then we will also discuss other muscles of the human body so we will record inshallah all the muscles and all the muscular system of the human body now let us focus on our lecture that is the muscles of the upper limb so our upper limbs you know our extremities we have two upper limbs and two lower limbs so first of all we should know that our upper limb is divided into different regions right our upper limb is divided into different regions what are those regions the first one pectoral region you know here is we have pectoral muscle pectoralis major and pectoralis minor muscle so this region is related to upper limb why because if you want look carefully to this pectoralis major muscle if you want to raise your hand if you want to flex your shoulder like this so you have to use this muscle right the contraction of this muscle will pull your hand upward so this is our limb and this our upper limb is pulled up by other muscles also but this pectoral muscles are also used during pulling and during extension these back muscles are used right back muscles are used so we say our upper limb does not starts from here while we are discussing the muscles it does not start from shoulder it starts from pectoral region it starts from pectoral region once again why because when we flex our shoulder this is flexion of shoulder so we use pectoralis major and minor muscle when we extends our shoulder right extension so use back muscles so it means that pectoral muscles and back muscles are also related to the actions of your upper limb that's why i have brought them here right so there are six regions of your upper limb what are those the pectoral region so we will discuss the muscles in pectoral region the back region we will discuss the muscles in back region shoulder region we will discuss the muscles in shoulder region so the first pectoral region back region shoulder region brachium or arm region right arm region we will discuss here the muscles biceps triceps brachialis coracobrachialis muscles right then it is also known as brachium forearm right or anti brachium region this one anti brachium and hand so how many regions pectoral region back region shoulder region arm region forearm region ha and hand so these six regions our upper limb is divided into these six regions now this was about the regions of the upper limb now let us go and see the muscles of pectoral region right muscles of pectoral region our first lecture begins here the first muscle pectoralis major pectoralis major look introduction shape location origin insertion actions blood supply innervation so these six or five points will be discussed for each and every muscle of your human body so first we discussed about regions pectoral region back region shoulder region brachium region anti brachium and hand so let's start with the muscles of 
pectoral region the first muscle that is pectoralis major muscle and you can see in the picture here also this is your pectoralis major muscle right the pectoralis major uh, uh, major from the latin pectus pectus means breast so it's also known as breast muscle it is also known as breast muscle right what is its shape it is thick fan shaped or triangular muscle thick fan shaped or triangular muscle it is the shape location what is the location of pectoralis major it is situated at the chest of the human body it makes up the bulk of the chest muscles and lies under the breast this muscle lies under the breast right so this was about its location what is its origin look carefully it arises from it has three origin points clavicular part sternocostal part and abdominal part right look clavicular part origin of clavicular part of the pectoralis major muscle is from anterior surface of medial half of the clavicle bone look here this is pectoralis major muscle this is the clavicle bone you can see here this is the clavicle bone right let me show you look this is the clavicle bone sternum humerus right this is its origin point what is origin point origin point of the muscle is the part of is the point of the muscle which it is attached to an immovable bone right now look this is all the origin point so we say it has three origin points the first one was clavicular part sternal part and abdominal part right so clavicular part as we have said there if you can see look clavicular part anterior surface of medial half of clavicle this is the medial part of the clavicle this is the lateral part so medial half of the clavicle will give origin to this muscle pectoralis major muscle you can see here okay next <clears throat> sternocostal part sternocostal part of it right the second part origin sternocost anterior surface of sternum costal cartilages of the ribs 1 to 6 right so this is the sternocostal part sternocostal part right 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so costal cartilages from 1 to 6 will give origin to it and the uh, anterior surface of the sternum bone right and then there is a abdominal part anterior layer of rectus sheet there will be rectus sheet right which we will see in our next lectures right there is rectus sheet there right and rectus sheet will give origin to this abdominal part of this pectoralis major muscle right friends i hope you understood the origin of the pectoralis major muscle you know it's a fan shaped triangular muscle i told you before so origin point is from clavicular part yeah sternocostal part and abdominal part now this is the insertion point what is meant by insertion insertion is the part of the muscle which is attached to a movable bone right which is attached to a movable bone so look insertion is the crest of greater tubercle of the humerus so here we have greater tubercle and lesser tubercle so the to the to the crest of the greater tubercle there is the insertion of this pectoralis major muscle right friends good next point what is the action of this muscle right this was about the introduction origin insertion and what is the action of this muscle look carefully at shoulder joint what does it do at scapulothoracic joint what does it do look carefully at shoulder joint the arm adduction arm adduction arm internal rotation arm flexion clavicular head right arm extension sternocostal head of it now look carefully what are these actions arm adduction look carefully if you make this abduction 
if you want to bring your hand if you are watching this video please do this action you will see your uh, pectoralis major muscle will be moving will be contracting look carefully if this is abduction now you are going adduction adduction so during adduction your pectoralis major, major muscle will contract so it will bring back your arm to its original position so this is pectoralis major muscle adduction internal rotation look internal rotation means if you are standing in anatomical position if you rotate your hand you will use your pectoralis major muscle so internal rotation is also of the arm is done right arm flexion arm flexion this is flexion right this is flexion of the arm if you are rising up your hand up your upper limb this is flexion now you are flexing your arm you are using this pectoralis major muscle and then there is the arm extension if you are extensing your hand you use this pectoralis major muscle so these are the actions of the pectoralis major muscle at shoulder joint and then scapulothoracic joint it draws scapula anterior inferiorly what will it do it draws scapula if when it contracts when this muscle contracts it will draw your scapula anterior inferiorly anterior inferiorly this is our scapula look it goes anteriorly and inferiorly clear friends these were the actions so then what is the blood supply of pectoralis major muscle pectoralis major muscle this is the muscle and it gives pectoral branches of thoracoacromial artery thoracoacromial artery is an artery which will give branches to the pectoralis major muscle this is thoracoacromial trunk right and this is the branch which comes towards it and then perforating branches of internal thoracic artery so from two major arteries it takes its blood supply and what are those thoracoacromial artery and internal thoracic artery this is the blood supply and what about innervation it is innervated by lateral and medial pectoral nerves from cervical vertebra number 5 to thoracic vertebra number 1 so this is the innervation of this muscle right so once again what did we learn we learned that our 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 upper limb is divided into six regions the pectoral region the back region the shoulder region arm region forearm region and hand and now the muscles of pectoral region the first muscle the bigger muscle is the pectoralis major muscle that you just now learned about the pectoralis major muscle its introduction its shape its location its origin and insertion its actions right blood supply and innervation right now in the next lecture i will discuss about the pectoralis minor muscle so be with us please if you like these lectures invite your friends to our channel share the link of the channel with your college friends with your university friends so that they also get some benefits from these lectures uh, we will see you in the next lecture till then friends Allah Hafiz